Hello and welcome back to episode 3 of the Walking Drawing Series. In today's tutorial video, we are going to be talking about styling plan in Revit. Now, if this is your first time joining our channel, welcome. My name is Grant and in this channel, we dish out interesting architecture related content. Please, you can do well to encourage us by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, share this video and turn on the notification bell icon so that you get notified when next we publish a new video. Before further ado, let's jump right into the video. Now I have the floor plan right here. I think this is the furnished plan, the furniture plan. So I was just going to come under our property browser right here. Click on this. We click on this. We right click. We duplicate view with detailing. We duplicate with detailing. Then we right click to rename. We rename this, let's say tiling, T-I-L dot. Let's say tiling, T-I-L, tiling plan. Then let's cancel this copy one, delete this. Okay, good. So this is our tiling plan. Good. This is what we have. Now, the next thing we need to do, we need to hide all these numbers because we have already added them on the furniture plan. So we need to hide all these spot elevations. So we hide in view by category. All the spot elevations are gone. We need to also hide all the door tags. We click on this, hide in view by category. All the door tags are gone. Same for the cutting wall and window tags, hide by category and window tags, right click, hide by category. Good. Now you have just a plain uh, uh, floor plan. Now the next thing we need to do is to tile our floor. You understand? So now what we want to do is to make our bathroom tile 300 by 600 mm, to make our bedroom 600 by 600 and living room dining and the stairwell and lobby one two by six hundred or one two by one two whatever we want so for us to do that all we need to do is to come under manage now we click on manage we come under materials okay so we create new material let's rename this let's say tile 600 mm enter then let's give it a surface pattern come on that model now you see 600 mm tile you click on this you click on ok then let's change the color let's say we want our 600 mm tile to be red so that we can be able to identify it um on the floor plan so once we are done we click on ok and that is it now we do the same thing, Mat materials, we create a new tile, let's say tile, 300 mm, okay, then we we'll give it a surface pattern, click on model, now let's look for 300 mm tile, now this have, is not was not there, like if you are using the default template, you are not going to see this, so you just need to create your own, you duplicate a field pattern, what I use to create this is um, cross hatching squares. Uh -huh. So you duplicate it and you create one for yourself. But you will see this 100 mm tiles. You, you will see all those ones there. So you can just create, duplicate them and increase the sizes. So 300 mm tile. Click on OK. Now let's make this 300 mm tile. Let's make it brown. OK. OK. Then we do the same thing for the next tile. Let's say one two, rename one two mm tile. Okay, then we give it a surface pattern. Let's say, uh, let's use this 600 mm by one two. Okay, then let's make the color. Let's say the color is, let's use this dark yellow okay and okay all right so once we are done creating our materials the next thing we need to do is to split the floors because if we place the material on this floor it's going to look at this floor as just one um component so we need to split the floor into the sections which we want so for us to do that we have to come to modify now you can see split space once you click on split face, you click on the floor. Now you can see the whole floor. Then you can split out the toilets where you want to have your 300 mm tile. 
where you want to have your 600 mm tile and your 12 mm tile so we can split out this one okay let's look for the next one we split out this one okay what else okay we split out this one now one thing with split elements is you don't draw on top this yellow line the yellow line is already acting as a boundary so you just draw and you stop here so it's it's it counts this one as one boundary okay so that is this for that okay what else is there any other toilet okay that is all so we're going to leave this here we we'll click on finish and that is it so once we want to paint this we come under here you see paint then we go to tile we look for tile what do we name it as tile 300 mm m n o p q r s t s t okay now you look for tile 300 mm so once you click on this you can now paint this okay done okay so after painting it i don't know why it's not showing but let's find out so you click on the floor let's override graphics in view by category okay now we see that the surface pattern is not visible so you click on these two for them to be visible okay good now you can see our tiling pattern for the bathroom this one and also uh okay we've not painted this one so we'll do the same thing we paint this one as well we paint this one tile 300 mm we paint okay is there another place okay here we also paint here as well all right so this is it we click on done and we are done with our 300 mm tiles now the next thing to do okay then the next thing to do is to split the surface for our one two mm tiles so the, which is the living room area so we start from here we go down all the way to this point we come down here okay let's get to this point okay then also start from here to this point to this point we start from here to this point okay we start from here to this point down to here then we end it all at this point so once we are done with this we can click on finish okay then we we'll click on paint then we paint one two we paint this point now you can see how it is good then we know that the remaining spaces are going to be the 600 mm tiles so we just click on 600 mm tiles and we paint the remaining spaces we paint the remaining spaces okay so that is it so once you are done with this now you can see it is i don't know if it's popping out too much so we're just going to override the graphics to reduce the um, um the visibility half tone let's make it half tone so we override graphics in view by element and we click on half tone and we click on okay good now so you can see it is i think it's mild now but you can still differentiate the colors you can see this is red this is um kind of like gold or that dark yellow then you can see the toilets is um brown you, you can see the difference okay so now this is it this is for the tiling plan on the ground floor so now we need to place this on sheet so we'll come to our sheet this is the next sheet i think what we did in the last episode is okay I think what we did in the last episode is the furnished um the furnished floor plan so in this episode we are going to delete this this is the next one so let's change this sheet to our archiquest sheet okay then we can now place our tiling plan on the sheet all right so once we have placed it on sheet, we click on this. We don't want this title to be here. So we click on no title. Okay. Let's place, let's shift it down a little bit for it to balance well on the sheet. Okay. I think this is it. 
Then the next thing we need to do, let's rename these sheets properly so that we don't get to look for them next time. So let's say tiling plan. T I L. Sorry. Tiling plan. Tiling plan. Okay. Ground, let's make it ground floor. Ground floor tiling plan. Okay. All right. Then this one ground floor furnished plan. Furnished plan. Okay. This. Okay. Ground floor dimension plan okay all right so let's go back to the tiling plan good now we need to also copy this data the room schedule and also place it here on this furnished plan now let's move it up to this point okay now what do we need to do again we need to create like a legend around this corner for the tiling plan so that legend we come on that legend you right click you click on new legend whatever the scale is let's say one is to 50 one is to 100 okay then we just need to use our annotate come on that annotate use our detail line to draw out something like a box okay then we offset 1000 okay this way then we offset 1000 this way this way and this way okay align this to this all right so let's make this one five okay select all of them let's make them normal thin line okay so we can now place text Okay, let's uh, let's add these two sheets first of all. Tiling plan. Legend. Okay, let's add these two sheets. Let's see how it is. Okay. Now we don't want this title. Okay. Uh, I think this is looking small. So let's edit it here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's say six five. Okay, then let's make this two five. Oh, Sherry. Let's make this two five. Okay. And five thousand. All right. So I think this is okay. I think this is okay. Okay. I think this is okay. Then we can now place our text. Let's place text box here. Let's just do this. Okay uh all right now let's make this 300 mm by 300 sorry by 600 mm non slip tile for the bathrooms okay copy this now this is 600 by 600 and this is 1 2 1 2 by 600 okay okay so let's let's delete this let me make some edits okay let's use by 6 mm thick thick non slip ceramic tile ceramic floor tile okay i think this is okay it's more detailed and self-explanatory okay so we have this we also copy this down to this point and to this point so let's make this 600 by 600 
okay and this one two by 600 all right now we need to show the legend what they would look like on the floor plan so we need to click on annotate region okay then let's draw a square or a rectangle here okay then we copy this to this point to this point so this one let's duplicate let's name this 300 mm tile okay then our foreground let's go to model and select the 300 mm tile that we used initially okay and the color we used we used brown okay okay background color none okay background color uh, let's just leave it as white we don't really need that okay good so this is it then for the 600 mm duplicate 600 mm tile okay solid fill model we go to 600 mm okay solid color what color did we use um i think we used let's be sure let's click on this first let's be sure okay i think we used red is this red let's see let's come under manage materials okay yeah we used red red brown and dark yellow okay so we can now change that properly okay so we'll come back to our legend here we we'll click on this edit type then we can change this to red okay then background for this one none okay all right so this is it red then this one edit duplicates one two mm tile dark yellow okay model one two by six hundred okay background color no pattern okay all right now you can see you can see the colors the color difference okay so this is the legend all right so once you are done with this that is all you need to do for tiling plan in revit if you find this video helpful and interesting please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like this video share this video to your friends and please turn on the notification bell icon so that you don't miss out on any interesting video when next we publish see you guys on the next episode